welcome back to Witchinary. If you have yet to subscribe to this channel, then please do so because we are getting crafty. And today I have a very special video for you guys. Not only is it day one of Witchinary's 13 crafty nights, it is also day one of the 31 day Halloween video hop. And what is that you might be asking? Well, I got you boo. The 31 day Halloween video hop is a group of crafters that have gotten together and have decided that we want to bring you 31 nights of Halloween fun. Sometimes I feel like we get gypped out of this holiday and it's super fun so why not have 31 nights of non-stop fun. So in order to kind of get in on the fun you have to watch all 31 days and if you comment below every single day you become eligible to enter a giveaway at the very very end with some really cute lawn fawn stamps so if you're interested please follow along on this little hop i will link down to day two below so you guys can totally keep going with the halloween spooky festivities and i hope you guys enjoy we put a lot of fun and a lot of work into it so enjoy for day one on this channel i decided to make some donut diy watercolor cards for halloween now why donuts well i like donuts and i like halloween so let's put the two together and see what happens hopefully it's good anyway to start off i grabbed my favorite arteza cotton watercolor paper i'm obsessed with this stuff it has such a nice texture um, i'm going to link to it below and if you use my code witchinary crafting 2 you get a 10 percent discount on arteza products so don't miss out and yeah let's continue i made some oblong circles for my donuts if you can't make um a perfect circle do not feel bad Donuts aren't perfect, so already if you are a little imperfect in your crafting, you are already at an advantage. You are actually making these really realistically if you do. At the center of every single one of my donuts, um, I go ahead and I draw a tinier circle just for the donut hole. And I don't do this for every single one of my um, donuts because not every donut obviously has a donut hole. Some of them are cream or jelly filled, so I love some of them as solid donuts. For the glaze of the donut, I go ahead and I make a squiggly line that weaves in and out from the edge of the donut in towards the inside and then back out. And I also do this at the center. And I recommend you do it only because aesthetically when you go ahead and watercolor the donut, it does look a lot better to have a little bit more of that um, dough pop through than just having um, the icing. But it's again, just up to you it is your artistic interpretation of a donut i'm just here to kind of give you a little bit of guidance on how to do that well obviously donuts are not inherently halloween like although i can argue that donuts don't really belong to any holiday so therefore they could be a part of every holiday i did go ahead and try to make them a little bit more halloween looking so i do draw a few sprinkles and i achieve that just by drawing um circles i do recommend doing that and then if you want sprinkles just waiting for your watercolor to dry and then just add a few lines it's a lot easier than having to draw it i also do take inspiration from other halloween motifs so for this donut i go ahead and i make a little googly eyed uh, monster donut and to make that all you have to do is draw a circle with a smaller circle underneath and like i said in my previous watercolor uh video they don't have to look perfect. Honestly, Halloween is all about having fun and embracing your inner kid and kind of like having the sense of community around you. So please don't stress out if these if your donuts don't look super perfect. Mine didn't either. They literally came to life after I started watercoloring them. Um, and up until this point, I was like, yo, these look crazy. So really, I encourage you guys to just try whatever you want. I do a few cobweb um, spider web donuts, which is just a few lines, and I do make a jack-o'-lantern donut, which was probably the most difficult one out of all of them. I had to use a reference for this, and I can't even begin to describe it. It was literally the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern that really messed me up. And I did do a little um, Frankenstein stitch on my other donut, and that kind of like wrapped up my designs for the donuts. Once you have a pretty good layout of what you want to, you know, do, all you have to do is pull out your watercolors and start going to town. I'm going to be using my 36 color Arteza watercolor set and my Arteza brushes. And now that we're done with that, let me hand you to this hyperlapse. And I hope you guys enjoy, sit back, relax, and 
you know, embrace Halloween. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Once I was done with the highlights with the Copic marker just to get some shadows, I took out my corner trimmer and I decided to round out my edges. Obviously, you don't have to do this. I just like the softer look. And then I realized I kind of overmeasured my card panels. So I had to go back and trim them and go through this paper corner trimmer all over again. Oh, it was, it was a little bit of a nightmare, but... You guys are way better at spatial intelligence than I am. I am just like a bit of an old uncultured swine. So, you know, it just it happens. But whatever, we fixed it, we moved on. Once I was done with that, um, my beautiful friend, Miss Sarah Audette, um, sent me these beautiful, uh, this beautiful sticker pack called Beautiful Night, and I believe it's from Pebbles Incorporated, if I'm not mistaken, and I will link to it below. If it's not available on Simon Says Stamp, it's available, um, at Amazon, so you guys can totally find it, and I use that for my sentiments to the inside, I mean, on the actual card. To raise my panels, I used some Simon Says Stamp black, uh, cardstock, and I just raised up my panels using some foam tape. So to give these cards a little bit more of that like very modern and contemporary feel, I felt like holographic um, details would really, really help out their cause. So I definitely use the holographic sort of um, stickers that came in the sticker packs. Uh, thank you, Sarah. I'm actually using the sticker pack like all month long. So if you guys have it and haven't used it, definitely pull it out because all of my cards will use some sort of this sticker pack. I'm like obsessed. I screamed when I got it in the mail. Anyway, once I was done like raising up these sentiments and giving them that look, I go ahead and I come up with a sentiment for the inside of the cards. Obviously these are DIY cards, so there's really nothing like it out on the market. You have to just make them yourself. So the sentiment I came up for this card is do not be scared. And I should have written underneath it's only Halloween in like really small capital handwriting, but I didn't think about that. So here we go. We just have do not be scared. Happy Halloween, you know? And I think this is so cute. Um, I think it goes very well with the theme. I think it ties everything perfectly together. Um, and if you guys see donut Halloween cards in the future, you saw it here first, folks. All right. So here are my cards. I finished off these cards with some Jolie's uh, glittery spider stickers just to give it a little bit more of that Halloween look and that finished up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys stick around for day two and I hope to see you guys again. Take care.